Good morning, students. As you know, I'm your financial accounting student, Regina Orico, and I'll be taking us accounting, uh, financial accounting SS3. SS3 on lesson 5. Now, based on what your past question, and I have your past question here, then the question, based on what states, based on what states, differentiate between discount allowed and discount received. Differentiate between discount allowed and discount received. Now, what do you understand by discount allowed? And what do you understand by discount received? Now, as a business woman, as a business, uh, sorry, as a student studying business as financial accounting, you all know that what business discount allowed is when what a seller decides to, to reduce some amount of what of the cost of goods to his to his customer. I repeat, the reduction in the price of what? In the price of goods to a customer by a seller is called discount allowed. Now, I have the definition of discount allowed here. I say, discount allowed is a reduction in the price of goods made by a firm to its customer when payment is made quickly or promptly. That is what discount allowed. Now, this can receive is what? When what a firm receive a reduction for good supply to what the company by a what? By a supplier for what? By what? Making sure that what prompt payment is made is called this kind of receive. I repeat, this kind of receipt is what? Is an amount received by a firm from its supplier where payment is made promptly or quickly. When payment is made quickly, that is this country see. Now, let me watch permit everything on what this country allowed and this country see for you. I said this country allowed is a reduction in the prices of goods, is a reduction in the price of goods made by a one in fact to this customer when payment is made quickly or promptly. Why this can't allowed or this country see, sorry, why this can't receive is what an amount received by a fair from its supplier when payment is made quickly by the fair. Now you see the two difference between what discount allowed and discount received. Discount allowed is when you want a large and certain amount of money, certain amount of what a reduction, when you allow what certain amount of money to a what to a buyer. Why was this can't receive? When you receive from what? From your supplier or from your seller. Now let's go. The next question says, identify five, five subsidiary books of account. The next question says, identify five subsidiary books of account. Now remember that what? From your SS1 topic, we treated this uh, source document and subsidiary books. From your SS1 topic, we treated source document and subsidiary books. Now, the source document, examples of source document, we have what invoice, we have uh, debit note, we have what credit notes, and what so on. But the subsidiary books, we have here five subsidiary books of account. Ah, please, when answering question, others will bring out the sentence first and bring out what your solution. Now, five subsidiary books of account are A. Remember, I did not use numbering, I just did numbers again, I used letters here. Now, A, we have purchases debt book, B, we have sales debt book, C, we have cash book, D, we have general donor, and E, we have return in words debt book. These are what? We have still have more, but since the question asks us to what? To step five subsidiary books of account. And that is why I have to what? They bring what? Bring out the list of five subsidiary books of account here. Now, the next question says, identify, okay, list two errors that the trial balance will review and three errors that will not affect it. I repeat the question again. List two errors that the trial balance will review and three errors that will not affect the trial balance. That is the, the nature of the question here. Now, first we have what? Errors that what? Errors that what? Now we'll review the trial balance. Two errors that the trial balance word will review. Now remember I was, 
I stated it what I get it in a sentence for you so that you understand better. And that is, this is what you are supposed to do as a student preparing for what for his or her way or never exam. Now we have two errors that the tribunals will review are A. We have errors in calculations when taking out the balances. B. Wrong figures in the ledger or cash book. Wrong figure in the ledger or cash book. Now remember your what? Your SS1, where you treated what? Your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your cash book, the type of cash book, you have three column cash book, you have two column cash book, and you have one column cash book. Then after preparing the word, your cash book, you have to prepare your ledger. Now, if what your the, uh, problem with the ledger calculation or there's a problem with the cash book, definitely it will affect the trial balance. Now here, errors in calculation. When taking out the balances, as an individual, you are not a computer. And perhaps you are the one sending the word message. You are the one sending the computer message. Therefore, you must what? Have the right calculation. You must have the right calculation here. So if, for instance, if they're telling me it's a mail, that mistake is for you, not for your calculator. Therefore, when calculating, you have to be very, very what? Careful. So if you have the wrong calculation in the trial balance, it means the error is from you. Definitely you want to affect the trial balance. Now the next one says what? Three errors that will not affect the trial balance. Three errors that will not affect the trial balance are, now let me say the three errors for you. One, A, sorry. A, we have error of omission. B, we have error of principles. C, we have error of commission. Those are errors. We still have more of them. Error of original entry, but what? The question says, three, please do not exchange what the, what the question is asking you. Do not give more than what the question is asking you. Because if you do that, it means what? You become the what? The, uh, let me say it easy. Are you the, the examiner or what? So do not give more than what you're expected to give in from the question. If the question says three, please give them three. Don't uh, show that you know more than them. They are not fools for you, for them to tell you that, okay, take just three for me. And if you take more than three, that is your problem. If you state more than what they ask you to to, what, to state, it's your problem, not theirs. Now, let's what? Let me give you the three errors. The three errors that what? That will not affect the trial balance. I say A is what? Error of omission. A is error of omission. B, error of principles. Error of principles. And C, we have what? Error of commission. C is error of commission. Now, these are what? We've stated the three errors that will affect what? That will not affect the trial balance. Now, the next question says, the next question says, explain the following accounting terms. Explain the following accounting terms. I am method for I have depreciation, triple I, nominal capital, I B, bad debt, V, gross profit and net profit. Now let's what, try to explain the words. The three words, they follow you know, the five accounting terms. Now they say what? The five accounting terms, explanation. All what you know to do, explanation of Five explanation of the of the five five accounting terms of the five accounting terms are as follows are as follows a i sorry writing i we have accumulated for accumulated for what do you understand by accumulated form? Now remember that what this is your test two topic which you have got treated. It's your test two topic. Remember account of non-profit making organization. Now under the account of non-profit making organization, we have what is meant by what accumulated word form. Now remember that one. 
was affiliated for is the capital of non-profit making organization. And then I read, affiliated for is the capital of non-profit making organization. Now, how do you arrive at the capital of non-profit making organization? You arrive by what? Adding your total asset minus total liabilities. I repeat, total asset minus total liabilities is equal to what? Accumulated form of non-profit making organization. Now, give me the definition of what? Accumulated form, sorry. The explanation of accumulated form on the board. Now, what? what? I say accumulated form. This is, this is the capital. This is the capital. This is the capital of a non-profit, capital of, non, of a non-profit, profit-making, profit-making organization, of a non-profit-making organization. That is what nation to enable the world to be able to explain. We explain more about what accumulated world fund. Now, since we have what, we say that it is the capital of non-profit making organization. Now, how do you get this capital? We say we are accumulated form is calculated as total, so calculate accumulated form, so calculate, calculate, so calculate accumulated form, Accumulated fund to calculate accumulated fund is equal to is equal to total what total asset total asset minus minus liabilities total asset minus liabilities. Total asset, asset minus minus liabilities minus liabilities is equal to what? Equal to accumulated is equal to accumulated fund equal to accumulated fund is equal to accumulated fund. Now we say. It is calculated as total asset less than um, and total liabilities of a non-profit making organization. Now, we say the accumulated form is what can be what calculated, can be calculated using this word formula. Using this formula. Now let's move to what the next question says depreciation. The next question says we should explain depreciation. Now, depreciation. What do you understand by depreciation? What do you understand by depreciation? Depreciation is one of your SS1 work. I repeat, depreciation is one of your SS1 work. I remember, without you how to calculate depreciation in so many ways. We don't want to calculate depreciation in so many ways. Now, what do you understand by depreciation? Depreciation is the reduction, I repeat, depreciation is the reduction in the value of an asset. I repeat, depreciation is the word reduction in the value of an asset. As a result of what? Wear, tear, usage, hopelessness, inadequacy. Let me what, define depreciation again. I say depreciation is the reduction in the value of an asset as a result of what? Wear, tear, usage, both lessons are what in our defense. Now, what are the items that can easily what depreciate? What are the examples of items that can easily depreciate and have depreciate? No, but motor car, we are motor car. We have furniture and fittings. We have land and buildings. Sorry, we have buildings. We have buildings and so many others. Those are the items that can easily what depreciate. So let me give you the definition of depreciation.
reflection on the ball. Now I say the reflection, the reflection is the is the reduction is the reduction or decrease reduction or decrease the result rate what reduction or decrease decrease in the value in the value of an asset of an asset as a result as a result of where as a result of where tier usage usage as a result of where tier usage usage that will have what also lenses also lenses also lenses and inadequacy 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 yeah then I say what what are the examples of item what are the examples of Examples of items. Examples of items that can easily, easily depreciate, easily depreciate, depreciate a motor van or motor car, motor car. Uh -huh. Motor car or bar. We are building. We are building. We have furniture and paintings. Furniture and paintings. Furniture and paintings. We have machinery. Machinery. That will work. We just work. Stop it here. Then. I think this explanation is what good enough for examiner to be able to us to give you mark or marks on this. That we can also what you can also include what the method of depreciation on this. You can also what include the method of depreciation, which is what a straight line method, reducing balance method, or an empty method. Then you stop your what your explanation there. Remember, explanation is different from what depreciation. If you are giving a depression, then that means you are, you are, what, you are going to give marks for what depression. If you are giving an explanation, since the person said explain, then your marks will be given on explanation too. Now let's move to the next one. The next one says we should also explain what nominal capital. Nominal capital. We should explain nominal capital. Now nominal capital is your topic in a, a topic in SS2. A topic in SS2 or company account. A topic in SS2 or company account. Nominal. Nominal capital. Now nominal capital is also known as authorized capital. And the nominal capital is also known as what? Authorized capital. It is the capital contained in the memorandum of association when a company is to be what established. I say what nominal capital or authorized capital. It is the capital of which what a company is authorized to issue out to the general public for subscription. And it must be authorized by the registrar of what companies. Nominal capital must be what included in the what memorandum of association, authorized by the registrar of what companies. So let me give you the definition of nominal capital on the board. It's a nominal capital. Is what nominal capital or authorized capital? Nominal capital or authorized capital 
capital in the capital plus per capital plus of the properties of the companies companies memorandum memorandum of association memorandum of association memorandum of association memorandum of association that is authorized share capital by the company and allied matter act registered what to the registered company
Thank you and have a nice day.